Okay guys, today I am going to be doing a grocery haul with y'all, but a lot of it is not for now. It is for freezer meals that I will be sharing with you over the next few days. So, well, one part of it's not a freezer meal. I have shared it before, but I'm going to just share it again because some of you are new and you haven't seen all the things. And um, some of it is freezer meals. There's one thing that... I haven't decided if I'm for sure going to do or if I'm just going to do part of it. But anyway, I'll let you know about that um, whenever I get into this. So, let me get y'all flipped around <laughs> so you can see what I got. Okay, so we went to Aldi, Walmart, and the bread store. Now, not everybody has bread stores. It's like a discount store where you get bread products. And there's a lot of bread here. Okay, I know that. But I'll tell you why. Alright, this right here is for this week. We have Sloppy Joe's and hamburgers on the meal plan. So, that's what that's for. And I got this because I want to make like a French toast type casserole thing. It's going to be just for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it in small, like, what do you call them? Oh my goodness, the word just went out of my ramekins. I'm probably going to just make it in small ramekins and freeze some of them. That way I can have it, like, after my surgery or just whenever. Alright, and these three loaves of bread, I'm going to be making my garlic bread with and freeze that. I've shown you how to do that before, but I'm going to show you again. And I have found that this thick sliced brioche is the best bread for that and everything else. So we got three loaves of that and then I got this. I, do, I usually like to get the Dave's Killer Bread, the berry ones, but they didn't have any of those so I got the cinnamon raisin mix, remix and what I'll do is I will take these and I will freeze them. I will take them apart, put wax paper between the two sections and put them in Ziploc bags or I may just put them back in this bag and then put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't know yet. I haven't ever tried to freeze it in its own bag but I may try that this time and just see how it works out. Maybe with one of the bags I might do it. But anyway, I got three bags of those. So that's all that I got from the bread store. All right, and now Walmart stuff. We got this. This is skinless, boneless skinless chicken breast. I got these for making chicken bacon ranch. And I'm probably, well, and other things too. Because I only need like one chicken breast per meal. And I know that's not a lot of protein people say you know one chicken breast for three people but it's plenty for that dish because it's a casserole or a skillet dish or whatever i may go ahead and just put four for that three meals and just save two of them for something else i haven't decided yet but anyway that's what we got that for and then i got this big thing of ground beef or ground beef chuck um, this is for chili, which is the thing that I'm not sure if I'm going to do the freezer meal type thing or if I'm just going to go ahead and cook some ground beef so that it'll be ready to go whenever we want to throw it in the crock pot. That way, Jeff can throw it in there before work or Noah can throw it in there whenever he gets up and it'll be ready to go. All they have to do is add the beans and all that stuff. But what I'm really thinking about doing is cooking the ground beef and going ahead and putting the seasoning, the tomatoes, and the tomato paste in a bag, freeze that part, and then just ha they, you know, put some cans of beans in after. Because they know how to do that. That's not a big deal. So, oh, there's my phone. It, this is for that and also lazy lasagna and probably going to have the, um, what is that I just said? Sloppy Joe's Manwich out of this too. I think I have a couple of cans of the Manwich. So what I might do is cook some of this up and um, go ahead and mix it up and just put it in the freezer for that too. And that way all they got to do is take it out, thaw it out and heat it up and we have a meal. Um, I know it's not the most nutritious thing, but for after surgery, it's fine. And, you know, we sometimes have quick meals like that, easy meals, and it's fine. So, that's what the idea of this is for. And then I just got some more of these Red Baron pizzas. And I got a pepperoni thin crust, because that's what I like, is the pepperoni. And then I got two more of the four meat pizzas. Noah likes to spice his up a little bit, the four meat ones. He puts turkey and smoked gouda and different things like that on it, and he loves it. Alright, so let's go on. I got the King's Hawaiian Rolls. Jeff 
Um, his job gave him a quarter of a honey baked ham. If you don't know what honey baked ham is, you're missing out. It is the best ham I've ever tasted. And it is super expensive, so we would never buy it. A quarter of a ham is $87 or something like that. Here, let me, let me just show you. Let's go over here to the refrigerator that I need to clean so don't look at that part. This is the ham. We just picked it up. It's a quarter of a ham and $87. Can you focus on that? No? Maybe not? $87.80. And and For six pounds 86 ounces 6.865 ounces i'm sorry it's not worth that to me but if they're going to give it to me for free i'm going to take it because it's delicious i wouldn't buy it though i know that might sound terrible but whatever all right so let's go on i got this community this is my favorite brand of coffee y'all know that my favorite flavor of it was the american i haven't been able to find it so i did get this one it is a medium roast and it has honey and hazelnut in it see the reason why i like the other one is it's got like chocolate or something in it but anyways um i got that to try and yes it's a big bag but i'm gonna drink it drink it so it doesn't matter i'm not gonna waste it i'm gonna wait until i'm done with the tim hortons and i'm gonna try that one okay so let's keep going this right here my cousin told me about after i ended up in the hospital she said to try this and i'm gonna tell you whenever she told me to try it and i looked at it i'm like oh gross this is gonna be like grape nuts this is coming from a person who's never even tasted grape nuts i don't know what they taste like jeff likes them but i don't have a clue but i always thought they were weird well she told me to get these i got a box i eat them every day they are so yummy i eat she said a quarter of a cup I ate half a cup. I don't know if I'm overdoing it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you. This is a little bit TMI, but I have had no stomach issues since I started eating these. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. All right, and then we got Noah some more cream sodas because he likes these, and I've been meaning to get him some, and every time that I think about it whenever we're at Walmart, they don't have them. I really wanted to get him the um, Barks brand I think it was they didn't have that he has had the IBC before though but anyways they don't have them well today I remembered and they had them so I got them for him all right and then we got this Alfredo roasted garlic Alfredo pasta sauce this right here is the kind we use for the chicken bacon ranch it is so yummy we use two jars because we use 32 ounces and this is 16 ounce jars just like I showed y'all the other day a little bit of water with it to rinse out the jars get all the yummy and this will be three freezer meals that I'm gonna do I may I'm probably not gonna go ahead and mix this part what I'm probably gonna do is cook the bacon and the chicken and have that ready with the cheese in it that way all they gotta do is add the sauce um, I may go ahead and add the sauce I don't know and then they'll just cook the noodles later alright let's keep going got some more bananas because I've been having that and the all brand buds in the mornings as my breakfast it's so good I don't know why but it's good all right did I finish this about the ham we got this to have ham sandwich slider things not like sliders as in you cook them but just like little ham sandwiches because we got that anyway which means we're probably going to change one of the menu plan things we're also going to take part of that ham and freeze it all right, let's keep going. Fruit Punch Body Armors for Jeff because these are his favorite. Haven't been buying them for me and Noah lately because we haven't been really drinking them. All right, and this right here is what we needed. This is the only thing that was stopping us from finishing that, uh, that and it got dark, from finishing that um, yesterday at the mobile home. So Jeff needed this special tape for that. So... We grabbed that while we were at Walmart. We didn't even know if they had it or not. We just decided to look, and there it was. All right, and then we got this because around the back door, it has a little bit of um, where that it's not. It's got a little bit of gap. Okay, that happens all the time. Well, he decided to get this kind because it's weatherproof. If it's for cars and boats, then it's going to be really good for around that. So it's to it's made out of rubber. And it's to seal around the doors. So that's what we got. And then we found this in the clearance aisle. It's just a roll of that Velcro that you wrap wires and stuff with. You can do all kinds of things with it. Let me try to get it to focus. See that wire right there wrapped up? But anyway, we thought that would be good to have to help us to 
organize things, and it was only $1.50. All right, now on to Aldi. We got some mozzarella cheese for the lazy lasagna. Cream cheese, same reason. And then we needed a thing of black-eyed peas because I didn't, well, no. I cooked enough to do the black-eyed peas for New Year's Day and the Hoppin' John soup that Noah wanted. We ate more black-eyed peas than we normally do, so I needed a can just to not have to worry about cooking more. So we got that. We got a thing of lettuce. And I know that y'all don't see many fruits and vegetables. It's just the bananas and the lettuce. Y'all, I'm really getting weird about the fruits and vegetables lately but after that happened to me I really think it was that salad if I can't wash it I don't want it and I can wash this and it's like really weird which we have apples and we have like little what are those things called and we've got celery in the refrigerator we've got fresh fruits and vegetables I promise y'all that but I'm really like yesterday was the first time I've eaten lettuce since December since all this started and I was scared to eat it, but I did, and it was good. Now I'm not scared anymore. I conquered that fear. But anyway, we got a thing of lettuce from Aldi. Did I say this stuff's from Aldi? You can probably tell. Got two of these because I need a treat after my surgery. <laughs> and then I got these little 100 calorie packs. These, all three, are like in little pouches. So that's easy to take to the mobile home. And also for me to just have, like, what I plan to do is have me like a little basket or bag or something beside me for after I have my surgery and a little cooler that way I can have a few snacks not just junk food like these chocolate chip oatmeal and I, these are kind of like um animal crackers or something it's not just going to be that kind of stuff it's not just going to be junk food but like we'll pack we'll Jeff will fix it up for me and like have me banana in it and you know some fruit or whatever so that while he's at work I don't have to call on Noah as much and I've just got a little simple snack there if I need it. I have done this before and ended up not eating much of the junk food because I really don't want the junk food after surgery but I wanted to get it just in case because sometimes I do. I've had several surgeries in my life. I've become a pro at this situation anyways this is what we got from the grocery store Noah and I are about to run to Sam's to pick up my medication we're gonna go by Dollar General to get us some sodas because they're on sale there I'm not gonna show y'all that stuff just telling you and we're also gonna gas up Jeff's car did I say that part I don't know because he needs it gassed up he took my truck to work we're just gonna do that for him so he doesn't have to think about it tomorrow and then the next thing you will see in this video is the Bible study. So if you don't want to watch the Bible study, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I won't ever know if you do or don't. But I want to thank you for hanging out with me up until now if you leave. But if you want to hang out, let me, let me just turn y'all around. If you want to hang out for the Bible study, you're welcome to. I don't ever want anyone to feel like they have to watch that part. Because that's up to you. And I'm going to say... This time, I say it every once in a while, I don't say it every time. I'm not a theologian, which technically I am because I study the Bible. I'm not a Bible scholar. I didn't go to Bible college. This is just me studying from the little book and the Bible and telling you what I, my thoughts are. And a lot of times I will tell you something that has happened in my life that God has shown me that has something to do with that. That's all this is. There's no pressure for you to watch it. But if you want to watch it, just stay tuned, and it'll be next. Okay, guys. We are back at this, and I have not done it in a few weeks because of being in the hospital and everything, and Jeff being off work and all of that. So we have around 17, 18 weeks left, something like that. We're going to finish it. And I know I'm having my surgery and all that stuff, but I still plan on recording it. And I can use my laptop to edit videos. I don't have to sit here at my desk. I can sit somewhere else. And I should be able to sit up and do stuff. And that's not a stressful thing for me to edit videos. Um, actually, making videos is not stressful for me. It's kind of a fun, relaxing thing. It's a hobby. It's enjoyable. So, I think that'll be a good thing. So, I plan on still doing this now after my surgery I'm thinking that there may be just the Bible study 
on the Thursdays. I may not record anything else with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to be recording at all after my surgery, but I plan on thinking about that a little bit more and telling you guys before it happens. That way you'll know what's happening. I may just drop down to a few videos a week. I may just give y'all each I mean, eat like a daily update. I'm trying to decide. It'll possibly end up being after like I'll have plans like ABC plan or whatever like different things that I could do and then after my surgery that's when it'll be decided because then I'll know how I feel what I can and can't do I know definitely can't be lifting and doing all the things but there may be a point where I'm still able to go into the kitchen and cook or there will be a point when I'm able to go into the kitchen and cook with help and um, where that I will be able to do some things even if it's just chatting with y'all there may be a lot of me talking I don't know yet we might finish the study even though I won't be reading it all like I've read the Bible several times actually we're, I'm reading it through again chronologically with a sister and a friend uh, with one of my sisters and a friend well a sister in Christ two sisters anyways I'm doing that this year as well anyway it's a chronological study um, so let's get to this I'm, I'm, I'm talking about so many things and thinking about so many things that I need to tell y'all or I want to tell y'all and it's just like it just pops out whenever I start when I push record so let's go ahead week 34 your next is now and it was the readings were Isaiah 25 through 46 I know that we read that weeks ago but hopefully you guys were able to read it and if you're new to this what I do each week is I do the study and I just read from this book some. I don't read it all. I tell you a little bit about what I think. I think I already told you that. I did tell you about that. It's been a little while since I recorded the grocery haul because we put the cold stuff up and then Noah and I went and gassed up his daddy's car, picked up my refill for my thyroid medicine, and went by and got some sodas. Y'all knew about that too. So, um, I also got a few more things from the Dollar General. Let me show you that. I know, this is weird. Anyways, I got some floss pick things. Those are for tight teeth, and my teeth are pretty tight. And I got this kind, too, because I know I like these. Um, I actually know. These are the ones I know I like. But I got these because they're supposed to be, um... Oh, I picked up the wrong ones. That's okay. Jeff and Noah can use these. But these ones right here work really well for my teeth because they're super tight, and I only have, like, two left. And then I got me one of these. And I have never tried the Rexile brand. I know this used to be a really popular brand, but it's a night protector for grinding your teeth. Mine that I'm using right now, I've almost bit it in half. That's how bad I do at night. So, I got me another one. I've not tried this one, this kind before, though. So, we'll see if it works. And I got me some little hair bands because... Um, this hair right here is always tickling my face because I have a lot of baby hairs or broken hairs or something. I don't know what it is. I think it's baby hairs because it seems thicker. I don't know. Anyways, I've been using different oils and stuff in my hair. I showed you all that before. But I got these so that um, maybe it'll hold it back and it won't tickle my face so much. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's what I got from the Dollar General. That and some sodas. All right. I call it Dollar Gentle because it's funny. Oh, that almost fell. Let's go ahead and do this study. Your next is now, Isaiah 25 through 46. When we look at the prophetic writings of Isaiah, we find God speaking through the prophet, reminding his people that he is Almighty God, the Almighty God, and besides him there is no other. He confirms over and over again that he is the one in full control of our lives, and he tells the nation of Judah, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. I believe I just wrote that in one of my scripture writing plans. I do two a day. Isaiah 43, 18. Did I just do that? I don't know. Anyways, God was in... I gotta know. 
either that or I just read it somewhere. Yes, I did. On the second. I did. Isn't that crazy? I wrote it last week. And now we're talking about it this week. Hmm. How's that? And I'm the one that made that plan. Anyway. Let's talk about new things. That's what the plan is about. New things. Um, let's go ahead. God was encouraging the people of Judah not to dwell on how they had to struggle in the past to become a nation. He's saying the same thing to us today. God doesn't want you dwelling on the past. Because when you do, you'll find yourself still feeling some of the hurt, anger, and pain. We can appreciate the past. We can learn from it, but we can stay we can't stay stuck there. Isaiah 43:18 in the message translation of the Bible says, "Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history." Jesus even says in Luke 9:62 that no one having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. So you've got to ask God to help you forge ahead. The past has got to be in the past so God can shift you to the next phase of your journey. So often we can get so often we can get too comfortable and complacent. But there comes a time when you have to move toward the next phase of your journey, whether it be from hourly employee to management, from traveling evangelist to a pastoral position, or from the single life to a married marriage and motherhood. You have to be open to the next phase to get there. Your mind has to be prepared for it. You've got to motivate and position yourself for it. And you've got to know that there is something greater for you there. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready to for more of God, the more of God. I don't want to be stuck, and I don't want to be stagnant. And if he has a next place, I'm ready for it. We can't grieve for ever about what was. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. And that's you today. I want you to know that your ne next begins now. So, like I said, I normally talk about something that happens. It has happened in my life. And y'all know that there was a point where that I had walked away from God. I've talked about this lots of times. I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of stupid things. I was running from God. And Whenever I rededicated my life several years ago, it's over 12, it's almost 13 years ago now. Goodness, I don't know anymore. It's close to 13 years ago now. Anyway, whenever I rededicated my life, I played those things over and over and over, and I kept living in the past. I kept my mind back there. And it was like... I stayed in pain. I stayed in regret. I stayed in shame. I wouldn't forgive myself. And then at some point, I heard a sermon or I read a devotion. I don't remember what it was, but it, it might have been in a book. But it said, you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself and move on. Because God has already forgiven you. He doesn't remember your sin. He knows who you are now. He knows what you're trying to be now. And so whenever that happened, when I when I read or saw or heard, I don't know, I cannot remember, whenever that came to me, however it came, it stuck. And the message of it was God is not keeping you there. You're keeping yourself there. You're the one that keeps reminding yourself Satan is there letting you or helping you to hash those past mistakes over and over and over and live in that regret. That's not what God wants for us. He wants us to grow so we can move on. He wants our next to be now. He doesn't want it to be, oh, well, I'll get there whenever I'm a stronger Christian. I'll get there when I'm a better Christian. We have to strive to be a better, stronger Christian by staying in the Word and listening to those little things that He sends our way like, you got to get out of the past. You can't stay in the past. Yes, your past is there. Yes, learn from it. Don't make those same mistakes again. But, if you go ahead and forgive yourself and move on from it, you will get further along in your walk with God.
Now, I'm not saying that I don't ever remember the past. I'm not saying I don't ever feel shame from the past. I'm not saying that I don't ever feel guilt from the past. But it's a whole lot less than it used to be. Because I lived in it daily, hourly, minutes by minute. I was living in that. And it would never go out of my mind. But now, it's more that I'm looking to the future and looking to God's Word and I'm digging and digging and loving to learn from God and forgiving myself and whenever those things do come into my mind it's easier for me to push them away and say you know what that's not what God wanted for me I've walked away from that I'm not living in that I have repented and I have been forgiven so I am going to keep going forward because my next is now it's not later. It's now. It's whenever we decide that we are able to let God do His work. Because it's us that stops Him. He never, like like I have said a lot of times, God is a gentleman. He's not going to push you. He's going to let you do what you want to do. And He's going to guide you. He's not going to force you to do anything. And we just have to allow Him to work in us, to, to help us. And once I heard that, or whatever it is, that wherever I got it from, once I got that message, once I, it sank into my spirit, I started praying for God to help me forgive myself, help me to move through the pain, help me to do what I needed to do to move past it. And I believe that I will think about it probably for the rest of my life every once in a while. But the times are a lot less now. They're like a lot less often. A lot less painful. And now I see joy in those times too. Whereas before I didn't see the joy that was there in those times. I only saw, well I walked away from God and I messed up my life. That kind of thing. Now, I see there were some good things happening in my life at that time. And at that time, God was working. He was, he was bringing me back. So, we just have to remember that our next is now, not later. Because we're in control of it. And as long as we are holding on to the bitterness and the pain and the sadness... God is not going to be able to work in that. We have to let go of it and put Him there instead, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Maybe you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure if you do or not, but hopefully you do. So, the next lesson, or the next week, is Think Big. And it's Isaiah 47 through 66. And I will put that on the screen, and I will put it in the description box so that you guys will know what we're reading next time. And like I said, if I decide to do this more often during the time that I have um, after my surgery, like maybe twice a week or something, we won't have as much time to read the scriptures, but we can still read them afterwards. And some of you might have gone ahead, because I did make a printable of all of this that we were supposed to read. Some of you might have already finished, because we were supposed to be finished with this a long time back. It has taken a super long time to get through this book. But, um, again, if we stay in this, stay in your, our, our Bibles. Jeff put tabs on it for me. I don't know if y'all saw that. I don't really need the tabs, but I bought them from Daily Grace Co. And they're so cute and pretty, and I, I, they do help. Um, this is one of my favorite Bibles. It's um, called the Open Bible. It's one of the best reference Bibles I've ever seen in my life. It has so many things to help to um, to help you study. It's not a study Bible. Like it doesn't have like a commentary exactly. It's a reference Bible. So what a reference Bible does is it gives you in the middle column most of the time y'all can't see it very well it'll give you scriptures that goes with other scriptures so you can go back and forth and study and stuff it's really cool and it's also got like at every book it's got 
um, a little something about what the book is about. And in the front of it, it's got tons of Bible um, helps, like, I don't want to say a concordance, but kind of like a concordance. Um, it's an index, but anyway, it's got lots of cool stuff. I'm not telling you to go buy it, but if you do want a link to it, I will link it for you guys. Just, you know, I just love it. It's awesome. But I have a lot of Bibles that I love, so, you know, <laughs> I can't help myself. It's also got maps and dictionary and stuff. Anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something from it. I hope you remember that your past needs to stay back there. You don't need to bring it back. You don't need to remember it. Now, always remember the good things. There's nothing wrong with that. But your past mistakes, don't keep beating yourself up about it. Don't keep hurting yourself. If you have repented, then it's back there. It can stay there. Learn, from, learn a lesson from it and keep going. So, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload. If you have someone that will might enjoy either the grocery haul or the Bible study or both or anything else on my channel, please share if you would like to do that. Um, leave me a comment down below because I really do want to know how you guys are doing. I know that there's a lot of cold and flu and COVID and all the things happening right now. Uh, my father-in-law actually was diagnosed with the flu a couple days ago, and we just found out yesterday. I was going to mention that in yesterday's video and forgot. So he's doing okay, but he, he did. He's got the flu. Anyway, um, so keep each other in prayer and let me know how y'all are. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.